Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Bambi in 1942. Um, yes, back again with a Disney review here and um, this wonderful Blu-ray steelbook and uh, yes, the final in the golden age of Disney films, uh, feature films, uh, you know, the fifth uh, animated feature film. Uh, and yes, supervising director was David Hand um, for this film. Now here we are with this film and uh, yes, I've been, I've mentioned this a couple of times and uh, you know, I've reviewed the other four you know, in the, uh, the the golden age of Disney, of course, uh, massive, massive, big, big Disney fan, of course I am, and uh, yes, you know, um, quite a lot of these films I've given high scores to, um, you know, not not too many masterpieces that I've reviewed, uh, I would say, but the golden age, I have said, um, is overall, um, you know, considering everything, my favourite kind of period of Disney, um, and uh, yes, you know, Snow White, of course, being the first, and for me, that's just one of my very, very favourite films, and uh, this will be a spoilers review, um, once again, um, so yes, you know, if you've not seen the film, I, I guess most people have seen this film, uh, but if you haven't, of course, be warned, as always, and um, yes, uh, this film is, is the final, um, you know, in, in this age, and uh, yeah, it's kind of fitting that I, I've, I've kind of reviewed the other ones before this, um, and yeah, I did say in my Snow White review um, that this, you know, Snow White and Bambi, um, you know, my two favourites of the Golden Age, and uh, both in my top 50 films of all time, and uh, yes, you know, this film I rewatched today, and um, yes, yeah, just just a wonderful still book, of course, as well, you know, it really, really is here, um, beautiful stuff, and yeah, it's a film that I've seen many, many times, um, you know, I, can, I can't I can remember, you know, um, the point where I, I never had seen this film, you know, because I'd watched it from such a kind of a young age, uh, I guess, probably, you know, three, you know, or, you know, as soon as I started watching films, I, I think this is one of the films that I, you know, kind of was watching, so, you know, uh, hundreds of times possibly, you know, it's probably one of my most watched films, um, you know, I, a lot of people, of course, um, would say, uh, you know, it's always interesting to see the opinions, but Fantasia uh, or Dumbo or, you know, stuff like this would be their favourite, you know, of the Golden Age. For me, it was always uh, Snow White and Bambi, you know, it's my favourites. And yes, um, I will say now, um, Bambi is... My absolute favourite, um, I will reveal that now, you know, this is my favourite of the Golden Age, and um, yes, um, we will be getting into this film, um, this is just something else, it really, really is, um, I think it's kind of overlooked a bit, you know, in terms of just um, Disney films, I really do think this is just one of the best films ever made, and um, you know, it really, it's, a, it's kind of a culmination um, as well of many, many you know, present thing, you know, elements of the uh, Disney Golden Age films, you know, prior to this, um, you know, it has, it's kind of got, a, once again, a kind of purity uh, and maybe simplicity of, you know, Snow White. Um, it's got elements of the kind of experimental, uh, you could say, uh, use of colour and stuff in, in Fantasia um, and, and, you know, kind of silent sequences as well, um, you know, with just, just music um, and image, of course. And, uh, you know, it's very, very different because it's the first one uh, where, you know, up to this point where the, the backgrounds are oil instead of uh, watercolours, um, so it's it's very, very interesting, more, much more rich in details in the kind of central, um, you know, in the centre of the frame, really, um, and it's kind of, it allows it, it's, 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 it allows the film to kind of have this fantastical feel, um, and, you know, the actual detail, you know, um, it's really, really on the, the, the centre, and the characters, and, you know, the foreground and stuff, it really is a, one of the best, um, you know, best films visually that I've ever seen, uh, and yes, um, I will say, of course, it's well into my top 50, this film, you know, it's one of the films, of course, um, that I'm re-watching over these next two weeks, um, you know, that you know, a lot of these films, I have said, you know, are among my favourites, um, so yeah, expect, of course, a high score, um, and yes, you know, this film, it really is just one of the purest um, pieces of cinema that I've seen, um, I know a lot of people would not, you know, say this is, you know, one of the best Disney's, um, but for me, you know, I think, um, I will say it now, you know, this really is the greatest Disney film, except for one, um, you know, I'm not gonna reveal what that is, you know, but it, let's just say it's very, it's similar to this, uh, in many regards, in its themes and stuff, and, um, you know, it would be, yeah, it's, uh, that's the best, but this is second in line, I would say, in Disney, uh, you know, animated films, and, pretty much, um, or at least very, very close to, to being the second best animated film ever for me. Um, I think this really is um, a supreme, you know, magnum opus. It really, really is just one of the finest films ever made. It represents 
life, um, everything in life, uh, you know, it's so purely, 70 minutes, you know, it really, really is staggering, um, you know, it's always, it goes by, you know, it's just so, you know, so um, kind of shocking every time, it's just over so quick, um, it's 70 minutes, you know, and it's got so much uh, within this, it's such a massive scope, um, and it covers, you know, I think it's, it's more ambitious um, without maybe appearing to be uh, more ambitious than any of the Golden Age films. Um, I am just in love with this film, as you can see. And yes, of course, um, it is, you know, about this, this follows this deer uh, named Bambi. Um, you see, of course, this deer Bambi from his birth, you know, um, and of course, a beautiful, one, wonderful scene, um, just kind of going into the forest, uh, deep into the forest here, um, you know, after the credits, of course, and you know, one of the things, again, that just strikes me is the way that we never really leave, um, we never leave the forest. Um, but it's such a massive, epic uh, film in scope and ambition, but we never leave the forest. And, uh, you know, it's always so um, personal in that sense. And, uh, yes, we, we gradually go in, you know, and it's just this wonderful animation, this music, of course. Uh, Love is a song um, being, being the title theme, of course. And... Wow, just, uh, it's one of the best scores and kind of uh, just soundtracks to any film for me personally. I think it's the best music, um, you know, of the of the Golden Age films personally. Um, I really, really do. And, um, you know, it really, it just goes into this, this scene, of course, this wonderful scene, um, all the different animals of the forest um, going in to see this birth taking place. And Bambi is there. And um, from then on, we have a roughly 45 minutes or a bit more is the exploration of the the childhood, um, of course, of Bambi. Um, you see this in just, it's just some of the most magical, um, pure and, and joyous, um, you know, just moments in cinema. Although, of course, we have, um, you know, one of the great, great tragedies uh, of cinema, um, a scene that I always cry at, um, you know, it really is just a, of course, you know, um, I don't need to say, you know, how, how kind of uh, sad that scene is when, of course, Bambi's mother is shot um, by man. Um, and another thing, of course, man is the, the villain, um, you know, of, of the film. Um, never once seen, um, only a fire in the distance, um, it's seen. And, of course, we hear gunshots, um, you know. Of course, the mother dies off screen as well, which is just another genius, genius uh, subtlety to the film. Um, and more disturbing, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, she you see... You see, you know, fire and stuff um, towards the end, which man creates, uh, but you never see a single human in the film, um, even though, you know, essentially they are the villains of the film, um, you know, and this is kind of, it's, uh, you know, it's of course um, a film that, you know, is kind of striving for peace and, um, you know, kind of uh, for nature and, um, you know, just animals, of course. And yes, it really is just one of the most sincere pictures I've seen. Um, wow, what a film this is. And yes, um, just every single moment of, uh, you know, this this you know this expression of childhood, of course, um, is so wonderful. It really, really is. You see Bambi, of course, his, um, his first steps, you know, how, how they're made to be, um, you know, this big, big event. Um, you know, this just is something else, you know, the way that we're just, I'm so involved and, and, and just just in awe of this, you know, um, how beautiful it is, how wonderful it is, just the steps, you know, he's taking and, uh, you know, guided by his fr uh, his closest friend, of course, um, instantly Fumper, um, who is this cute rabbit and, you know, the film is just, you know, a representation of cute, of course, but it's more than that, you know, it's not just a cute little film, it really is, I think, one of the grandest films um, in cinema and, um, yes, you know, you have this, this um, really the three main characters, um, you know, you've got Flower, who is a skunk, um, comes into it a little bit afterwards, but Fumper, um, of course, the rabbit, um, and Bambi, um, our young deer, and uh, you have Feline as well, who is, um, you know, basically this, uh, you know, the eventual partner, of course, uh, the love of Bambi, and he meets her, you know, another deer, um, you know, a bit further on into the film in, in the childhood sequence, but then, yeah, you basically have these three main um, characters, really. And, of course, you've got the Owl as well, uh, Friend Owl, and uh, the Great Prince of the Forest. Um, one of the uh, the best um, parts of the film, which we'll get to, but yes, um, you know, you have this just innocent, pure exploration of childhood. Um, the first you know, sort of 25 minutes, especially, is just pure, pure joy and uh, sense of wonder that I've rarely seen 
in any film, um, you know, it's just something else. I think the way it's animated, of course, um, you know, I, I really do think not only is it the best of the golden age, but it's a real, real contender for the most uh, expressive and um, pure, pure animation, just in what the essential of animation is and in conveying mood, you know, atmosphere, um, beauty, wonder, um, naturalistic this film but but also kind of just so you know so kind of um you know of course the uses of color for example um are just very startling as well you know especially the the reds in the film later on i just i just think you know and the clash of symbols then which we'll get to but wow you know this this animation is it's a contender for the best animation i've ever witnessed um it's such an achievement in cinema it really really is i think this is true art, you know, I, I much prefer overall, um, with all respect for kind of traditional animation like this, I just think, you know, it really is, um, it's essential in creating more, a sense of wonder I feel from these golden age films, um, and they're also more, much more detailed than so many animated films, but you know, the sense of wonder and the purity and the, at times the simplicity really just works, um, you know, to greater effect than a lot of animated films. Um, I can love, you know, any sort of animation really, um, but you know, I generally do prefer, um, I haven't. I have nothing against you know modern animation, but I do prefer overall a lot more you know traditional um, you know animation. The animation to this is um, just it's something to behold. The purity to it, you know, and I think the the whole um, the way it's just so serene and peaceful. Uh, the backgrounds, of course, uh, oil oil instead of watercolor. It's a real um, a real difference it makes, and I think it's just it's just the best. Um, the level of emotion that I get from the characters, um, you know, this is something that I just, I really, really appreciate so much, and it's just, uh, it is one of the most moving films to me, um, I really do think, um, you know, everyone will have different films they think are emotional, but I think Bambi's right up there with the kind of, the most emotional films, you know, and it's just, um, I would, yeah, I would put it up there with some of the most emotional, um, I'm not going to get into them ones, but yeah, it really, really is, you know, certainly top 30, I think, and, uh, yeah, you know, I think um, you'll see it around that mark on my list of favourite films of all time uh, when I do my lists. That's how much I love this film. Um, I really do think it's a truly special one. And, uh, you know, we, we're kind of reeled into this gentle um, exploration of life, childhood, friendship. Um, of course, parent, um, you know, relationship, of course, uh, with children. And, um, you know, it's, it's something that the mother and, you know, mother of Bambi, um, you know, this relationship is so wonderful, so beautiful, and uh, it's always so focused on, you know, the love and the bond they have. And then, of course, when she is killed, um, you know, it's even more affecting, you know, it's actually quite quite far on into the film when it happens, um, but it's not it's not really like any other deaths that I've seen. Of course, it does take place off screen, um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's done in such a way, you know, there is a moment um, at first, um, maybe 10 or so minutes before this uh, this death, which is kind of a central event of the film. Um, but yeah, for, for many anyway, um, it's, 10 minutes before this is a kind of moment you think, it, well, it's a, almost a close call here, you know, when, when it could have happened. Um, and then it's even more kind of, you know, something that this time, you know, she doesn't quite make it out of the mother and uh, is killed, um, is shot. And it's so powerful. It really, really is. It just brings me to, to tears. Um, the subtlety of this, the way that, Bambi, um, you know, just comes back, of course, and his mother isn't there, and um, wow, it really, really is something, it's, it's, it's one of the most emotional moments, um, I think one of the most emotional films, you know, it's, uh, it portrays so much in this, you know, life lessons, um, you know, I think it's, it's a, the way it portrays, um, you know, the cycle of life, uh, just uh, in, in many ways, it kind of just goes back to the beginning, uh, you know, the beginning at the, at the end of the film, um, as we know, and this is a spoilers review, um, of course, once again, but yes, the ending, um, when of course we see um, our new great prince of the forest, uh, Bambi takes over from his father, uh, now this is a thing um, as well, the moment of course you learn that, that Bambi's father is the great prince, um, this is something that just makes the film more legendary um, in every sense, you know, and it just comes after his mother dies. Um, wow, you know, and I think the way that the great prince is portrayed is another thing, you know, I really, um, you know, think is just so amazing in this film. Um, he is just portrayed as this mythic, um, you know, 
figure um, treated with such, you know, the awe that the, the kind of he radiates, um, you know, the, the kind of feeling you get from this. He appears just after the first, you know, the birth of the film, and um, then of course you see him a bit more in the film. He becomes more of a, a figure in the film, of course, uh, an important figure. And yes, um, that moment, of course, as well. You know, Bambi's first steps into the meadow. Um, shortly after that, of course, seeing all the different, um, you know stags and then of course you see the great prince and uh, everyone is just all the other deer you know just in awe of um of this character and um yeah it's just learning that of course he is the father of bambi um makes the film just um even more rich and, and legendary and epic and kind of just this whole mythic tale um you know and i think the way that bambi takes over at the end is just um well that's that ending is definitely in the best the best, the finest endings um, I've ever seen. Top 25, I will have to say it right now. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, the emotions I feel from that ending shot, especially when the slowly zooms out, of course. Um, that Just that look, no words, uh, look between the two, the two uh, princes there, you could say. Um, one stepping down, um, you know, giving up his place uh, for the new new prince, um, Bambi, uh, our, um, you know, our, our main character who we followed from birth uh, finally steps um, and takes the takes over the place of the previous great prince. Um, it's, it's, you know, he's fulfilling his destiny and uh, he is now watching over uh, the forest as the, the great mythic figure. Um, this is just um, staggering, this film. It really, really is. The, the ambition of this, um, the execution uh, of the themes. You know, this is something that just sums up life um, all in one very, very short film, as I say. Very, very simple at times, uh, but one of the most powerful experiences. And uh, I just loved so many moments um, in the first half, especially where the first 45 minutes, which are just some of the most magical uh, you know, moments in cinema, of course. You've got the little April shower scene, which is just all um, visually told. Um, you know, once again, it's just, it's just one of these uh, animated films that take from you know the silent era um, and just use it so well I think um, you know Fantasia of course um, being you know a, a silent film really um, but you know this is done um, in, in for me a final way and I think it's just you know this is definitely the most confident film um, that from the golden age and it's the I think it's the most the most bold um, you know it's not quite as experimental as Fantasia but I think it really uh, is a culmination as I say of many many different um, you know all of these animated films you know, before this, um, and it does it in a, in a way that's just the perfect blend. It has the comedy, you know, the light-hearted tone. It has more power than the other ones for me personally, um, more emotional, um, you know, it's more, it's a uh, better animation, um, by far the best animation of this period and really of all time, as I say, pretty much. Um, it's, you know, the music actually is my favorite uh, of the golden age, as I say, you know, there's so many moments in this film the use of music is uh it truly um elevates the film so much it's a real spiritual experience to say the least and uh, you've got this grand you know majestic moments in the score you've got the the wonderful you know peaceful tranquil moments the joyous moments it has everything you know and leading up to that final epic overwhelming um you know rendition the reprise of course of the um main theme of the film and uh you know, just culminating, and once it's over, um, once again, me nodding at the screen and just, you know, so emotional and just nodding to say, you know, this certainly has my approval, um, that's for sure. You know, this is, I, I just hold it in the highest regard. Um, you know, I love animation. Um, well over 30 films that are animated that are on my favourites lists and, and st still counting the more I see um, and, and just animation really represents uh, some of the high points of cinema for me um, I think this is right right near the top um, you know just animated films um, I'm in awe of this picture um, I love every single character um, the owl of course um, being this kind of very uh, gruff and, and uh, you know kind of grumpy character but so charming as well um, some of the heart really really comes through of him you know and he's from the very beginning of course um, and I love the comedy in the film um, of course when he's he gets close to the camera and scares, um, you know, the, the other creatures and stuff. It's the other animals. Um, really hilarious. Uh, it's the thing. It really blends the comedy, um, you know, the lighthearted tone with, you know, wow, you know, truly, truly tragic moments. Um, 
uh, you know, big, big, um, overwhelming, you know, for a kid to watch this as well, you know, it's so, it's an essential film, it really, really is, you know, uh, when I was watching this as a kid, you know, just getting the kind of, the themes from this and, and uh, you know, just responding to this so much and uh, the life lessons it has, you know, the joys of friendship, uh, love is a big, big central thing, of course, in the film, uh, the different romances in the film, beautiful, beautiful stuff, the way it's done, um, you've got Feline and Bambi, you've got Thumper, of course, having, uh, you know, romance, you've even got, of course, um, Flower, um, the skunk, um, and yes, just all of these, um, you know, these three main characters, their friendship together and their journey, um, you know, it's, it's, as I say, it's a short film, but it has, it has everything essential, um, it take, you know, spends enough time on these childhood, you know, relationships, um, and then, you know, when it jumps time, of course, um, after that, big, big event, um, you know, the defining event, really, um, that separates, you know, in many ways, his childhood to his adulthood, um, you know, in many regards, he, you know, he's forced, of course, to, um, to do, you know, to change, of course, and uh, the great prince, um, you know, off screen, of course, in this film, I believe the second one, which I haven't seen, I must admit, really, all the way through, um, the second one does this, it explores this moment, I believe, but yeah, you know, this happens off screen, um, you know, this, and we don't quite see what happens over that, you know, that time, but then the jump ahead, it's so amazing when you're, he's reunited with his childhood friends, it's done in such a pure way, and in such a wonderful way, sincerity um, to the picture, that, you know, it's just so satisfying, and the final act is, you know, it's a clash of symbols, it's, uh, you know, an array of, uh, you know, reds, oranges, uh, just intense colours, um, you know, the fire, of course, of the forest caused by man, um, you know, man's destruction uh, really coming through here, and then the final, um, you know, moments, of course, when once again, um, the cycle comes around, of course, we have another another birth of the film, uh, this time, you know, Bambi's the father, and as I say, you know, he joins, joins uh, his father, and, uh, you know, then he takes over um, the kind of the title um, as the great prince of the forest, and, uh, yeah, just what a perfect film, in my opinion, um, of course, uh, with all respect, I do think this is a perfect magnum opus, it really is, um, it's majestic, um, you know, it's not, another thing to note, of course, it's not as fantastical, um, you know, or fantasy-based as you know, um, a lot of the other Disney films, um, or yeah, certainly ones um, of the golden age. You know, it's uh, it's less less of this, more you know, realism. Um, and it was heavily criticised. Um, you know, it still is, of course, but um, you know, it was really, really butchered at times. You know, by some critics, um, calling it the worst insult and stuff, um, which I won't, I won't dwell on. You know, it's fine, but you know, it's uh, it's kind of grown, of course, um, and you know. Uh, it's just such a meaningful um, animated film to me and I do hold it in the highest regard. I think uh, very few films top this for me. But I think it's a real spectacle. It's uh, one of the most naturalistic and sincere pictures. It's, uh, wow, the expression, um, you know, the emotion to the characters, um, you know, a real charm here. This is what I really um, am really disappointed by at the moment uh, with what's happening. Um, I won't get into, of course, and Everyone can enjoy these films, but wow, I'm not really, I really am not happy with it, but I don't have to be thinking about that, you know, what's going on, of course. You can obviously guess what I'm on about, but, you know, this is what I really focus on, these positives of what, you know, animation can do, um, you know, and what these these classic animated films, um, you know, all of these five are great for me. Um, Fantasia, I think, is a bit, a bit less so than the others, but um, they're all great, um, in my opinion. I think they all do something unique and original and, uh, you know, expressive. They're all emotional, they're all, you know, they're definite pieces of art here, you know, and they really are wonderful films in their own, you know, in their own individual way. Um, I personally think Bambi is the finest of the five and uh, very, very nearly the finest animated film um, of all time. You know, it's just a truly um, dreamlike and uh, eternal experience, you know, right from the the opening scenes, you know, and onwards, you know, you've got these these wonderful, uh, truly wonderful, you know, sequences, you know, um, operatic, um, you know, and it's, it's so good at the kind of uh, it's it's kind of simple in it, you know, in in, in the themes, not simplistic, uh, you know, or, or or basic at all, you know, but simple, you know, there's a simplicity to it, you know, um, in, in many regards, cinematically, but you know how it kind of um, really, really 
focus is so um, you know attentively on on details. Uh, you know the leaves, for example, um, and, and just the surroundings and how it just you know it really is such a yeah it's such a dreamlike film. It really, really is. And the, the scene, of course, um, on the ice being one of the great, great scenes in cinema and this whole magic that it has. But you know just just uh, you know moments as well. You know just to show the 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 time passing. Um, you know the the seasons, um, for example, and uh, the way that nature, um, the cycle of nature, um, it's all contributes to this this experience. And it's just, I think the way it's uh, you know it's animated and everything, just to, you know really, it's an out of body experience really. And uh, wow, you know to, to to see this as a kid is one treat. You know um, the way I'm describing it, it really is. Um, I it's just like 2001. I feel um, a space odyssey in many regards um, in what it can do, and I think. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's an out of body experience, and um, how how lucky are we, how lucky are we, you know, to kind of uh, be able to to watch this, um, you know, for, you know, as a kid and stuff, and uh, you know the way that I've had so many memories with this film, and um, I've seen it so many times, uh, really, really have, and I feel very privileged um, to be able to watch this film, and uh, you know my memories of it, you know, and how it's affected me and, and, and just inspired me and, and uh, moved me to the core you know and it's a just a film you get lost in you know really really is and you think wow um, it's already over um, just a very short film of 70 minutes um, and yeah just the way that it kind of it allows you know me to, to escape um, really into this definitely fantastical qualities of course but very much more um, you know realistic kind of grounded um, in many regards to the other ones of the golden age, there's only a couple of moments that are, you know, kind of, you could say maybe are fantasy, but, you know, it's more, uh, you know, it's more just fantastical and dreamy, you know, in general. And I feel it's just the perfect uh, blend of, you know, kind of fantastical nature, you know, um, and reality and uh, truly an infernal out of body experience, I feel. Um, just the, uh, the, of course, the animation really plays into that. The music, how just wonderful and kind of soothing and ro romantic and just uh, moving it is, but in a very, you know, just it's not a musical. This one, very interesting. It's uh, it's just a film with uh, a wonderful score, uh, the songs as well. You know, the title theme and uh, the way it's used, um, all contributing, and uh, the way it focuses very um, on simple themes um, and does it so wonderfully, all contributing to one of the 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 great great um, spiritual and um, you know dreamlike uh, experiences in, in cinema you know it's just one of the best uh, coming of age films um, the way it just teaches um, very sincerely of course the the uh, the value of family you know friendship of course um, but it's also got this tragedy treat uh, creeping in here you know it really um, it does this in such a gradual way you know and um, you know it's, there's a sense of wonder to the film throughout um, and you know kind of the way that the tragedy comes in, you know, it creeps in here, you feel it so, uh, so much. The atmosphere, um, it's something else what they achieve with this. Um, and, you know, just, uh, you know, compare the moments, you know, with Bambi um, hiding, of course, from the thunder, um, you know, and then leading up to uh, the moments when his mother dies, you know, um, just gets shot, of course. Um, and then, of course, he gets shot towards the end of the film. Um, there's all these moments that just show the dangers, you know, and the way that, you know, there is things like this in his world. Um, and it's just, um, you know, there's a purity, there's a real innocence, but wow, a bold film, a really, really bold film. Um, you know, the way that, of course, I think, um, I believe that, you know, Disney was, you know, people were trying to persuade him not to include, um, you know, not for them not to include the death of the, you know, of the mother um, for Bambi. Um, and, you know, it's something that, you know, they went ahead with anyway, very boldly, and uh, rightfully so. Um, I think it's just, it's a pivotal moment uh, in cinema. It really, really is, just let alone the film. Uh, it's it's something else, and I think it is just, it's much more natural, and it's uh, it's essential to show um, this, and how, you know, how man can, can cause so much destruction, um, and it's one of the things that, you know, elevate, you know, the, the, the themes of nature, and, and kind of supporting nature, and, uh, you know, for animals, of course, their rights and everything, and it's just really, really wonderful, um, beautiful, wonderful film here. You know, it really, really is, and it's just, it's um, you know, something where 
you know, uh, the sense of wonder, as I say, um, to every single moment, you know, just the, the looks the Bambi gives on the meadows, you know, he's first sort of um, observing um, in the distance. And uh, as I say, you never leave the forest um, and it makes it so much more, um, you know, kind of the, the, the moments where things do happen, you know, with the death, uh, man coming in, it's just so much more, um, you know, kind of, you know, meaningful, um, the way that they just, you know, every single moment uh, when someone does come in or something is disrupted, um, you know, it, it just heightens it even more, I feel, um, you know, it's just truly, truly the right choices across the board, um, it really, really is, I can't, I can't say anything bad about this, it's a perfect film in my eyes, um, there is nothing, this, uh, short of perfection, uh, this is an absolute masterpiece, um, in every sense I feel um, you know in my opinion of course and you know everyone will have their, their different rankings um, opinions and that's great you know but for me if someone asked me what is the greatest golden age film and you know one of the top three um, without a doubt you know Disney films Bambi would be be the answer to that and um, it's certainly it's got all these themes um, you know of just life and death this this whole cycle um, that you know, of course Bambi goes through and it represents over the film in such a pure way, um, you know, and of course, family friendship, you know, you've got nature, um, you know, and, and a man's destruction, of course, and, and you know, how he can, he can really, um, you know, it's, it's such a, a horrible moment, of course, when the mother dies, and it's such a powerful moment that really says something, um, but it's done in such a sincere way, um, of course, that moment being off screen, being such a, a key moment, um, a choice there that I just... I am really so glad um, that that was the case. It just makes it more affecting, more sophisticated in, in that particular moment, um, I feel. And then that moment right after you feel, you know, when, uh, you know, Bambi, you know, it's, it's revealed that Bambi's father is the great prince. And the great prince uh, is just uh, one of the greatest additions to the film. Um, it adds so much mythic quality, you know, how this whole legacy in, in many ways it, it ties into is set up, you know, and how, how Bambi, you know, eventually takes over, and then, you know, this just makes the whole complete film uh, so much better, it's so much more of a, an epic film, um, more meaningful, more mythic, uh, more spiritual, and uh, more grand and majestic, this whole way that the Bambi's destiny is eventually to take over and watch over the forest, all stemming from this wonderful, uh, you know, beautiful little scene at the beginning, uh, innocent scene, um, you know, of of the birth of Bambi, and then, you know, coming back once again uh, towards the end with a, a similar thing, um, but then, you know, you really have uh, Bambi take, taking his place, um, and that moment, you know, when, when we, 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 we kind of just go further and further away, and, you know, slowly phase the picture, you know, and, and the music at that point is, um, wow, overwhelming, um, absolutely stunning, um, and then, you know, then it is the end of the film. Uh, 70 minutes, everyone, um, but so much, you know, at least in my opinion, is accomplished here. It's the scope of this film, the, the, the way it's achieved, the execution of all the themes, um, the power of, of so many moments in the film, but the uplifting nature, uh, how beautiful and uh, just, just lovely and charming and uh, funny the film is, you know, the moments, of course, of Bambi trying to walk, you know, it's a hilarious moments, um, you know, and there's so much great, great comedy, mastery of, of, of comedy here, you know, it really, really is. The, I think there's around 900 words um, spoken in the film, um, so that's that's not much really, um, you know, but it's, uh, and it's a, as I say, it's a film that really, every single moment is so meaningful, and, uh, you know, I think there's loads of moments where there's not really any dialogue, it's all just told through visuals, uh, really, really, um, you know, just the essence of cinema here, what the what they were doing with this film um, but you know again you get so much um, great dialogue of course there's so many lines um, you know that are just absolutely brilliant in the film so such a, a piece of um, cinema here real perfection in my opinion and uh, just everything right uh, and more this goes beyond most films for me it's a spiritual experience a mythic mythic film while being the least um, fantasy you know based of the of the original five, I think it has the most, um, you know, spiritual and, and, and mythic and uh, you know, kind of just magical feel actually um, of all these five. So it's it's very interesting how you know Snow White is of course a fantasy film that literally is untoppable with uh, 
well, very few films that topped uh, in terms of fantasy and how it has this sense of wonder. Um, but this film, I think, goes even further than that. So um, I, I just cannot believe, you know, it's something to behold how how they they did they did do this. Um, they did top Snow White, in my opinion. Um, I know a lot of people don't um, regard Snow White as in the highest of uh, you know respects, but I do think you know that's the one. If you top that, it's uh, well, it's something. Uh, but Bambi for me is the greatest of the five. Of course, um, this is a magnum opus in my opinion. Um, very rarely has, uh, have I seen a better film than this in general. And uh, of course, it gets my absolute highest rating of 100% plus. Tier S, um, yes. Like a lot of these films have been getting recently. Of course, I did say this. Um, you know that I'd be doing a lot of my favourite films, reviewing them um, first time round or. Some re-reviews actually, um, of course, um, you know, over the next two or three weeks, and uh, this is another one, no exception. It's uh, one of the most uh, emotional films to me. Watched this so many times as a child, and uh, it's just uh, it's grown in my respect for this film, and you know, just uh, my 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 awe of the film really. Um, every single time, um, you know, over the years, the more I've watched it, um, and yeah, wow, what a pure um, animated film here. You know, it's not. Not a single moment that doesn't contribute to, to everything it's trying to explore and say, um, but such a sincere film, uh, you know, so naturalistic, but so um, so vivid, so alive, you know, the energy to the film, you know, all the animation, the expressions, the emotion to the picture, um, you know, this is how you do animation. Uh, it's really the one I look to, to, you know, it's the purest representation of animation, you know, an animated film, really, um, in so many regards, and, and how to just really perfect um, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, break down the form into the most, you know, the simple, uh, you know, ways. And it's just, it's got simple themes, but they're so um, relatable, they're so powerful in the way it's done. And, uh, you know, just uh, the way the seasons pass, you know, everything is so, so meaningful and wonderful. Um, you know, it's just a magical film. Um, I don't need to say much more, you know, it really, it's a film that has to be watched. Um, you know, there's no way I would I would say you know it's a film to miss. You have to watch this film if you get the chance. And uh, if you have seen it, um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And um, you know, we will discuss uh, Disney. Uh, one of my greatest loves, of course, it's just animation and Disney, of course, being the the first. Um, well, really, the first um, my kind of first experiences in cinema was mostly anyway around. Disney and of course Star Wars as well, um, which maybe I'll talk about sometime. The original trilogy, wow, well, you know, yeah, just these, these, uh, these sorts of films that I just, um, you know, really began, um, you know, my life in cinema. And it's really, I can't remember a time when I didn't watch Disney films, um, of course, because you know it's literally just the first sort of films I watched, really, um, and rightfully so. And yeah, just I think this is, you know, definitely uh, in the top three um, animated films, um, Disney films, and for me. The greatest of the golden age, the finest, the purest, the most magical, mythic, um, epic, you know, as I say, these themes of destiny and the way that Bambi assumes the, the role of the great prince of the forest. Um, the ending could not be better. It is just one of the greatest, for me, 25 endings in cinema, you know, really, really competing with some of the best, you know, not top 10, but, you know, not far off that really for me. I think um, it's just, uh, wow, the emotions. How emotional this film is, you know, so many moments, uh, you know, I cry out, so many moments that are just so purely and wholly joyous and uh, upbeat and uh, enjoyable, you know, it's got such a charm to the film, you know, all the characters are so, so memorable and so, you know, so wonderfully um, written and uh, portrayed, you know, the way they're drawn, in many ways it is the purest and, um, you know, the most the definition of you know the greatest definition of what animation should be for me or what I kind of what I um, kind of aspire you know for animation to be and how how it's just such a pure representation of this and yes yeah, just in storytelling in in characters in this narrative which is one of the finest finest narratives in film you know right up there with the best narratives I can name so many films of course it's alongside um, and uh, many you would say different films particular big big films uh, to kind of look to to do um, to see what is how you you, you know you kind of uh, let a nar narrative unfold on screen but Bambi you know is, is among certainly not the best but among the, the kind of greatest um, in that sense I think 
the the scope of it, the themes, you know, so ambitious, but um, exceeded with the execution, uh, the weather in the film, the you know the big um, life lessons, you know, that we experience um, for little little Bambi, uh, how he grows up, um, and then he reunites, and you feel this this journey, um, such a journey with all these three main characters, but other ones as well, you know, Feline and. Uh, you know, just the way it wraps up at the end is so consistent in, in my investment to the film and the characters uh, together and stuff. And yeah, it's just um, how you can um, you can just really experience joy and magic in cinema. Bambi, um, I've said enough, and uh, it's one of the very, very finest films, in my opinion, personally. Um, this still book, of course, wonderful. Uh, the Blu-ray, absolutely stunning. Um, hats off to the to the, uh, the Blu-ray um, restoration here. Wow, really stunning. Um, this just, it's such a beautiful film in every single sense, in its soul, um, and the way this just elevates um, to such a level. The spiritual feeling I get from this, wow, you know, very, very near the top of most spiritual films, in my opinion, and, and right near the top of, you know, greatest achievements in cinema. I, I find it, um, and underrated is a uh, you know, subjective thing and everything, but, just, you know, in the way that I find it a bit overlooked and maybe underappreciated um, and, and just, yeah, I've always found this to be, you know, uh, far exceeding so many animated films that, uh, you know, are really, you know, put right at the top. Um, and I, I think this is really um, one of the greatest achievements in cinema. So, yes, thanks for watching. Um, be great to see the comments and, um, you know, the, the uh, of course, respectful discussions in the comments and, uh, you know, rankings perhaps, thoughts on the film and uh, cinema, of course, anything involving cinema. We will talk about once again and uh, what a wonderful film, in my opinion. Bambi, um, the final in the golden age uh, and a real, real uh, culmination and, uh, you know, kind of um, bringing together um, of many of the, um, you know, what Disney done before this and this was the personal favourite from Walt Disney himself, um, actually. And uh, yes, you know, in, in his lifetime at least, um, I, I do agree with him, you know, I really do. And um, yes, just thank you for everyone involved, because this film is truly one of the greats, um, in my opinion. One of the finest, and uh, yes, absolute magnum opus uh, for me. Uh, so yes, as always, thanks for watching my review.